Bryson, last year it was emotion. You hugging your wife, crying, getting central to you know the peak of all peaks. What's the feeling now? What's it feel like now? I don't know. The whole season it was like hunger. You know, we were hungry to, to get back to prove what we were worth, to show who we really were. Um, so after a game like that, I mean, you just you know, all I can do a smile. I mean, obviously still emotional, still very uh, bittersweet because you know that group will never be together again. Uh, but man, in the season right here on this field, in a win, state champs, back to back at that, I, mean, I could have never dreamed that at all. Dakota Falver, game MVP, you were so happy for him. I know he didn't throw for 400, but is this one of his best performances ever? Yes, yes. And I mean, that kid there, man, he's so humble. He doesn't like a lot of recognition. He doesn't take, you know, he's, he's one of those quiet leaders. And again, as a quarterback myself, I truly respect his entire game. I'm glad he had the opportunity to come out and do his thing out here. And again, from one QB to another, and see him get the MVP like that, man, I'm just, I'm going to continue to smile for him forever. What has Nick Craney meant to this program from a defensive standpoint? Foundation. You know, I hired Nick when I first came in and got the job. Um, he was just finishing up at Carson Newman and uh, he came in, we knew he had a strong defensive mind, got partnered up with a great guy in Larry Slade, and man, he went, he took it from there and made it his own. You know, I respect him so much for everything that he does on and off the field. Um, he's one of those guys where he just, he goes to work, you know, he just keeps me in tabs and what's going on, what we're doing, I just let him go do his thing. Because when y'all get up 14 or 20 points, I mean, you got to feel good about your chances. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, anytime it's a, you know, really a one, even two possession game, we feel kind of good about it. You know, our kids kind of go off of that. That's their motivation, their momentum. Um, and they call themselves a the black flag defense. You know, they got a couple of uh, goals and stuff that they want to reach within uh, their unit. And they come out there and they do it every week. Last thing, the name Caleb Porter, what comes to mind? Spectacular. Uh, unbelievable player, has a knack for the ball, uh, offensively and defensively, really. You know, offensively, you probably see that starting next year. But, uh, <laughs> you know, he just makes plays all the time. And I tell him all the time, the game will come to you. Just be patient, be patient. You see him, he gets antsy, he gets a couple of uh, encroachment penalties here and there. But, man, when the game comes to him, he's special. Sorry, one more thing. Um, was there one piece of advice that you took with you in the offseason, preseason, and regular season about – when people ask you, how, how do you repeat? Is there one thing that kind of resonated with you on how to possibly do it? Nope. I'm, I, I wasn't really sure what the recipe was. Um, and again, for lack of better words, the motivation was set from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, we had a couple of different things that just kind of flew over us. It's the best thing possible. I mean, that's the way we started. You know, I know when I first took over the program, it wasn't a high-profile program. It wasn't. So it was like, hey, you know, the motto was shut up and work. <laughs> and the kids just do that. They shut up, they work, uh, they bust their butt for each other, for the community, for the school, and obviously here we are.